Mr. Mtrace here. Welcome to my first video. Today I want to show you how I prepare every morning for my trading day and develop my daily watch list of stocks that I want to trade. This is an important exercise and really helps me to stay focused and identify stocks with the highest potential for big moves, especially for day trading. If you're new to trading, you may have heard about different stocks stock screening tools, but the one that I'm using um, here is Benzinga Pro Scanner. <clears throat> there are also other versions like Finvis and a few others, but for the purpose of this video, we'll be focusing on the one that I'm using. A stock scanner is a tool that allows you to scan the market for stocks that meet certain criteria. Um, and I'll cover what criteria I am looking for to determine and create my morning watch list. When it comes to momentum or day trading, I'm looking for stocks with high trading volume and high relative volume. So what is trading volume? <clears throat> well, trading volume refers to the number of shares that are being bought and sold in any given stock. High trading volume can indicate that the stock is seeing a lot of buying or selling activity, hence momentum, which can be a good sign that's worth paying attention to. On the other hand, relative volume compares the trading volume of a stock to the average volume of that stock over the past few days. <clears throat> a high relative volume can indicate that a stock is seeing a high, higher than average amount of buying or selling activity, which can also be a sign that it's you know, worth paying attention to, especially from momentum or day trading standpoint. So let's take a look at the Benzinga Pro scanner. We can go um, into a workspace and click on the you know, sort of pre-market. Um, this allows you to see all the stocks that are currently moving on the higher than average volume in the pre-market. But how do we set this? Well, first what I do, I um, want to see a pre-market gainers. Okay, obviously for the session, I want to see the pre-market. And for the period, I want to see um, for the entire sessions, not in five or 15 minutes intervals. So that's important. <clears throat> and um, you over here, you also, below, you also have other um, <clears throat> criteria like a market cap, which you can, you know, sort of adjust um, volume, right? That you want to, for example, minimum of 5 million uh, volume traded float right if you want a smaller float then you just adjust that and the price as well but um you know but this is the setting that i am using gainers pre-market and a session and i leave these you know as is and what we are then being presented um <clears throat> um you know are the following things at the top here you'll see the following information the symbol the price, um, the change since the last close, and here's the most important part that I'm looking at, which is the trading current trading volume. So how many shares that this ticker traded in the pre-market session and the average volume, right? Something that I already talked about. Here I also have information about the float size. And this is also a piece of good information to have because it tells you whether a stock has the potential for a big move. The smaller the float, the bigger potential of the move. Worth remembering. So what I like to do now is to sort these stocks based on the highest amount of volume traded first. Right? As you can see here. So I adjusted that. And then what I do is to look at the volume compared to the average volume, right? I want to see that the current volume being much greater than the average volume that the stock has traded over the last week. I do this because it gives me an indication that there is a high interest in that stock on that day which gives you the prob high probability that this stock can really take off when the market opens um, for normal sessions. Sometimes it even runs in the pre-market as well. So, so pay attention. Okay, so 
Now we have identified these stocks with the highest volume in the pre-market and we want to find out more information. We also want to know why this stock is running. So here's what I can do is to click on the ticker okay, and check the news. Sometimes it might be an FDA approval for, you know, cancer research drug or whatever the, 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 the company is doing. Um, and that will send the stock skyrocketing. Sometimes it can be an analyst upgrade, a positive earnings report, and sometimes it may be a buyout, merger, deal or acquisitions. News are important and should be looked at every day before formulating a plan. All right. So once we looked at the, you know, unusual volume, or high volume stocks in the pre-market, what I do next is add all of these that I'm interested in into the daily watch list in my trading view. Okay. So I already have that over here. Once I've done that, I go and look at the chart to determine if there are any technical patterns or indicators that suggest this, suggest this stock is ready for a big move. And to do that, I go into a smaller time frame. So for this, so for this one, uh, what I'll do, I'll look at the XRTX. It had a huge volume in a pre-market <clears throat> and it run already like 80%. <clears throat> so what I do here, I look at the, um, you know, charts trend, support and resistance levels, and educate, you know, indicators such as moving averages, you know, volume, etc. After I've completed my analysis, I then make a decision on which stocks I want to trade um, sort of that day. And I need to then formulate a plan, you know, where, I, where I'm going to plan my entries, um, exits, um, where I'm going to have my stop loss, etc. Right? This process is an important part of my daily routine, and I highly recommend anyone who is serious about trading, you know, formulating their own. Um, the next video I'll cover more about, you know, entry points, exits, stop loss, how I'm judging this, and you know, sort of. Um, how I'm how I'm I'm moving forward with uh, with my trading day, you know. Once I n have my watch list ready, so thank you for watching, and I hope this um, <clears throat> you found this video helpful. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, watch out for more videos.